eight for cinematics <laughs> and art cinemas and uh, 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 congregations meeting uh, with a bad sheet on which they are projecting and so on, yeah, in a, in a basement like the early Christians or whatever, the uh, underground or counter cinema, mm -hmm. cinema parallel and all these things. And uh, in retrospect, I'm not, uh, I find the conditions of the projection better generally, or so, but on the other hand, I, I can't idealize the cinema space. Uh, and the cinema space is, uh, yeah, so perhaps uh, like, uh, uh, what can it be, perhaps, it's, uh, perhaps it, it's nice to have this, um, alienation that you go to a place and there are others but you don't know that, that is all has to do with the romanticism of the big city and so on so Mike what was his name Mike the man who wrote non-spaces no Mike Auger Mike he wrote that solitude would be the aspect of, of, of cinema that many lonelinesses are, are, are lined up that's something something appropriate in my so, uh, 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 generally working for art spaces, I try to make shorter things and sometimes things where, where you don't have to see it from A to, to Z, but where also parts suffice and perhaps with the film, as you see, it's also the case, it's not so important to see all of it, if you understand the message, it's also already okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of an artist like Omer Fast, for example, mm -hmm. you know, that, that sort of produces similar structures. Yeah, I mean, yeah. more, maybe more open in terms of the language. I mean, uh -huh. they're, they're more... <coughs> but don't say I look. think his problem yeah. is that he produces as if he would produce for cinema, and then he mm -hmm. does not, and it's also, it pretends to be like cinema, but the quality is not as good as the, the it should then? be. The quality, quality and the, 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 the standard, the standard. standard is far too high for what comes out then in the end. Right. It's my opinion. There's too, too much quality. Too much drive. Too much, drive. Yeah, too much production value and too less substance. <laughs> 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 uh, and how do you locate that? I mean, it's kind of maybe common in the last 10 years of art is working in such way, <laughs> working with cinema, I mean, and you have the, maybe the ultimate example is Steve McQueen, who's actually made a transference, a very successful, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. according to lots of people who moved over cinema. Um, but he makes interesting films. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Yeah. interesting films. Yeah. And that was a difficult thing to do. Yeah. 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 I think it's also a difference if filmmakers make video art or if artists make video art with no cinematic background. So you could divide all the video art people into these sections of... Uh, really? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe not everyone, but just as an approach to think about it, it's quite interesting, I guess. And also documentaries, well, but different genre as well. Yes. You see bad documentaries which are preserved, pre, uh, preserved as uh, per, uh, percept, perceived. perceived as uh, fantastic video art, which yeah, are yeah, just yeah. simply bad documentaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you have uh, <laughs> bad films yeah, exactly. which are also perceived as good video art, and vice versa. Yeah. Or uh, bad uh, films that are perceived as good uh, documentaries, yeah. and all, the, all sorts of uh, yeah. these things. Very often, Things which you would never watch on your home TV. Never, <laughs> yes. You watch it in a gallery. In a festival. It's interesting.